Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and EscapeRoomElectronics.com. Uh, what you see here is the uh, DIY kit version of the Little Buddy Togger. If you haven't already seen it, check out the Kickstarter link below. It's got a 254 word vocabulary and can be easily used with uh, any SPI compatible platform. Uh, Arduino code will be, will be um, supplied with the uh, Kickstarter campaign. So in any case, what we got here is a Little Buddy Togger PCB. You'll either receive green or, or black uh, in, on a stereo connector, two, zero point, or two one microfarad uh, electrolytic capacitors, sorry about that, one programmed microcontroller, uh, eight pin dip socket, a 0 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor, a two pin header, two 10 pin headers, a, a, a 470 ohm resistor, a 400, or sorry, a 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, and a five pin header. So first things first, let's solder our single resistor. There's no polarity on a resistor and it goes nicely into this little slot right here. There's no labeling on it because it's between these two capacitor slots and this header slot. Right here to here, this little resistor. So I'll solder into place and I'll show you what it looks like. Swoosh. Our single 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor uh, also has no polarity. Both leads are the same size. Go in this slot right here. The 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor has a long lead and a short lead. The long lead is positive, the short lead is negative. Now, you'll notice that there's a little circular component right here, and from this perspective, there's a plus sign under the right hole, which means that we want our longer lead to go through the right hole and our shorter lead to go through the left hole. There's a white stripe on the inside of the capacitor that indicates the negative side. So we should see a white stripe from this side and just black on this side. The one microfarad electrolytic capacitors also have a long lead and a short lead. They go in these two circular slots right here. The positive long leads go in the right holes, the short leads go in the left from this perspective. Don't reverse it. Now from this perspective all of the white stripes of all three capacitors are facing me. Next let's pop in our two pin header right here with the long leads facing the top of the board and the short leads facing the bottom. There we go. Now we can solder in our socket. From this perspective, there is a notch on the left side of the socket, there is a notch on the left side of the footprint. Make sure that from a bird's eye view that when you place your socket in that the notch is facing the left from this perspective so that they match up. There is also a notch on the chip and that this is a, a visual indicator so that we don't reverse the uh, orientation of the chip. So solder the uh, socket into place and make sure that there are no shorts once you are done. The stereo connector or socket has one pin in the front and four in the back. It only fits in one way. How I like to do this is I like to put the front pin in first. Sorry if this is difficult to follow. And then I push the flat back ones in and I make sure that it's flush. I hold it down with my left hand because I'm right handed and I, what I'll do is I'll add a glob of solder here. Once that solder has dried or cooled, I'll turn it around and I'll solder all four pins in the back and then I'll re-solder the pin in the front. And that's a nicely soldered stereo socket. This is the last component on the top of the board. It's the five pin header and what we're going to do is we're going to place it in through the top of the board like that. And what I like to do is hold it with my left hand, hold it into place at 90 degrees and what I'll do is I'll solder one of the five pins. I'll just dab some solder on it. Uh, that'll hold it in place. I'll turn the board around and I'll solder uh, the remaining four pads and then I'll re-solder the original pad just to make sure that we don't have any cold solder joints. Now we're going to turn the little buddy talker into a microchip. We're going to solder the two 10 pin headers on the bottom side. What I like to do is hold it in place, add a dab of solder on one of the 10 top pins and then solder the rest and then re-solder the original pin and I'll do that for both sides. Now our, chi now our little buddy talker stands up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place our chip in. Remember the notch we talked about? The chip has a notch facing the left. The socket has a notch facing the left. So what I like to do is I like to bury the bottom pins first. I'm going to try to do this without obstructing the video. I put the bottom pins in first. Make sure that they're actually in. Then I gently push the top pins in. I, I line the top pins up. It might require a little bit of uh, maneuvering. Once I know that all eight pins are in place, I'll get pushed down. And there it is. There's a little buddy talker. The next video will show you how to test it. Thanks for watching everyone.